Hello everyone, it is time for the third episode from my devlog series in which I am building my dream game. Thank you very much for the support guys, we are almost 600 people. I took your notes from my last question, so I will be trying to make more in-depth devlogs, where I will explain some of my builds and mechanics. The last week I have added a few more mechanics to my game and made this simple cave shrine to test them out. The first thing I have created was this rock spawning and throwing ability. If we press the fire button an animation will play and the player will spawn rock that we can aim with and throw. It will do a physics interaction with the environments and objects and this has a lot of potential to unlock cool mechanics. If we hold the fire button the same thing happens but it will spawn two rocks in both hands instead of just one. I will show you the rock actor now and how I have linked it with my third person character. The first thing, the really first thing we have to do in the rock actor is to determine the ground location where we can spawn a rock from the, gr from the ground. We use custom event, then by using line trace by channel we determine at what range in front of the player the mesh will spawn. Then a timeline is used to lure the rock location to our target location. And after that we just enable the physics interaction to add impulse to our rock mesh and spawn some dust particles and cracks decals at the location of our rock. This is for the polishing purposes. And in the end I've made my rock actor be able to destroy a mesh that is using the chaos system and disappears after a while. Now for some reason if we use the destroy actor node instead of the set lifespan node it will crash the game immediately when the rock actor collides with the chaos mesh. I think this is a bug and it will be fixed after the official release of Unreal Engine 5 later this year. So we have to use the set lifespan node for this to work. There are more things that I want later, like playing with the alpha of the material so the broken parts can fade out instead of just despawning after 3 seconds. In the player controller I've just handled the actor spawning and the mon montage playing. Keep in mind that the mechanic is pretty messy and complex so I'll leave a link in the description to a guy which made an in-depth tutorial for this mechanic and I followed. You can play around with it and test how it works. The mechanic shown in my video is almost the same, I've just made a small adjustments to fit better my style of the game. For example, I've added the possibility of aiming with the mouse before throwing the rock and I've made my player be able to lift and throw the rock only if he is looking forward 90 degrees left or right. If my camera is looking backward then lifting is not possible. Also I've made it interact with the chaos meshes. Now we have two different force mechanics which I still don't know how to combine. The first one is this glowing sphere from my last episodes and the second one is this rock lift mechanics. If you have some ideas on how can I combine them please write them down in the comments. I was thinking about making a hut in which you will be able to choose from different mechanics for the different kind of situations. Let me know what you are thinking about that. Now, as you see we can aim in different directions and if we aim at this glowing boulder it will break and the boulder will despawn after 3 seconds. But keep in mind this will work only with the rock actor, if we spawn a sphere it would collide but nothing will happen. Something that I was not able to figure out was the implicit type of the chaos mesh. I've read that for the better realistic destruction it, this has to be set to a level set instead of the box option. However, when I set this to level set, I'll show you what happened next. The rock just go through the mesh for some reason. If you know why this happens, please let me know. I was looking for some information, but as you may tell, it's all in early access, so we are starting to face some issues and it will take a time to gather a proper information. Going ahead, the second thing I've made was this cave system to test my mechanics. I used some assets from the store, added some particles and some post processing to achieve the atmosphere I want. Also I've added some custom spotlights to make this beam which simulates the sun ray going through this hole and illuminating the dust particles. I think it comes really beautiful. I've come up with a pretty simple puzzle that I enjoy very much. It contains a written sign on this rock which the player has to illuminate with the torch to read it. Otherwise the text is too dark and it's really hard to tell what is written. The text was created using a decal. You can use mega scans and download whatever decal you want. 
After that, you have to change the texture inside. It's very simple. The color map simply contains the color of the text which you can create in Paint or whatever program you wanna. It is just a random color and the mask map is just the text or whatever you need but the background has to be black, nothing special. And the last thing I created was this pretty cool pickup drop mechanic for my torch and items which is really simple. We just add a socket in our player's, player's hand bone structure. Then if we are not holding anything and our overlapping actors are, to, are with the proper attack, we attach the actor to the component and place the exact socket name which we created and then if we want to drop it, we just find the floor and detach the component from our actor. So. If we go back to the rock, we can illuminate the text and see what is written. This text contains a hint for completing the shrine. And the last thing left here is to make a new animation when my player holds the torch. If you have any other ideas, please share them. After the player picks up the torch, it illuminates the text written on the rock and he has to find a way to the highest point of the cave. If you haven't watched the previous video where I am showing the full cave shrine, you can go and watch it, it's really cool. And basically this is my progress from the last time. Unfortunately I have limited time to work on my game since I am working full time but I'll try to keep at least this amount of progress over the weeks. Also if you wanna see any other tutorials or in-depth explanations of whatever you like, leave down a comment and I'll do my best to make one. It can be an in-depth tutorial like the sprinting system or just a quick 5-10 to 10 minutes tutorial without going into so many details, it's up to you. Thank you very much for watching this video guys, it means a lot to me, I am preparing a lot of content for my channel, even educational like tutorials, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you will be notified as soon as the videos are up. See you in my next video, bye!